We're here today to examine a monument to American ingenuity, the Panama Canal. The Panama Canal, a linchpin of global trade, is teetering on the edge of a crisis that could send shockwaves through the world economy. This engineering marvel, which facilitates the movement of over $270 billion in cargo annually, is hiding a secret that could upend the delicate balance of international commerce. What began as faint tremors in the canal's infrastructure has escalated into a full-blown emergency, threatening to disrupt supply chains, spike shipping costs, and reshape geopolitical alliances. But the crisis runs deeper than structural damage. Beneath the canal's murky waters lies a discovery that could rewrite history, an ancient secret buried for centuries waiting to be uncovered. This isn't just about cracks in concrete or faulty locks. It's about a revelation that could change how we view one of humanity's greatest engineering achievements. The Dark Secret Beneath the Panama Canal, a crisis nobody saw coming. The first signs of trouble were subtle, a faint vibration here, an unusual noise there. Engineers initially dismissed these as routine operational quirks. But as the vibrations grew more pronounced, it became clear that something far more sinister was at play. Underwater drones, equipped with state-of-the-art sensors, were deployed to investigate. What they found was chilling, a network of hairline fractures spreading like spiderwebs through the canal's critical infrastructure. These weren't ordinary cracks. They were symptoms of a deeper, more ominous problem, a previously unknown tectonic fault line lurking beneath the canal. Geological experts were stunned. How could such a massive geological feature have gone undetected for over a century? The implications were staggering. The canal, a vital link between the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans, was sitting on a ticking time bomb. As engineers scrambled to assess the damage, they uncovered something even more astonishing. Remnants of ancient structures buried beneath the canal. These ruins, hidden for centuries, suggested that the area had been a hub of human activity long before the canal's construction. Could these ancient builders have known about the fault line? And if so, what secrets do they take to their graves? The Ripple Effects A Global Economy on Edge The Panama Canal is more than just a waterway. It's the lifeblood of global trade. Every day, over 40 ships carrying everything from electronics to oil pass through its locks, representing 5% of global maritime commerce. When news of the canal's structural vulnerabilities broke, the global economy shuddered. Shipping companies were the first to feel the impact. With the canal's capacity reduced, vessels were forced to take longer, costlier routes around South America's Cape Horn. The added journey time, up to two weeks, sent shipping costs skyrocketing. Retailers warned of delayed shipments, manufacturers faced supply chain bottlenecks, and energy markets braced for disruptions in fuel transportation. The crisis also exposed the fragility of global supply chains. Industries that relied on just-in-time delivery systems automotive, electronics, and pharmaceuticals were hit hardest. Stock markets reacted with volatility as investors grappled with the uncertainty. The Panama Canal crisis wasn't just a logistical nightmare, it was a wake-up call for a world overly dependent on a single vulnerable trade artery. The Engineering Nightmare, a technical deep dive. The scale of the engineering challenge at the Panama Canal is unprecedented. Advanced structural analysis revealed a complex matrix of stress patterns, indicating that the damage was far more extensive than initially thought. The canal's lock system, once a symbol of engineering precision, was now a patchwork of weaknesses threatening to fail at any moment. Geological surveys painted an even grimmer picture. The newly discovered fault line wasn't isolated. It was part of a larger, interconnected system of tectonic activity. This meant that the canal's problems weren't static. They were evolving, with the potential for sudden, catastrophic failures. To combat the crisis, engineers turned to cutting-edge technology. AI-powered monitoring systems tracked every microscopic shift in the canal's structure, while underwater drones performed precision repairs in conditions too dangerous for human divers. But even these advanced tools couldn't keep pace with the escalating damage. The canal's infrastructure was deteriorating faster than it could be repaired, raising the specter of a complete shutdown. Economic shockwaves, a global trade system in peril. The economic fallout from the Panama Canal crisis has been nothing short of seismic. Shipping costs have surged, with some routes seeing price increases of up to 300%. Retailers are warning of higher prices for consumers, 
while manufacturers face production delays due to shortages of critical components. The crisis has also reshaped global trade routes. Shipping companies are increasingly turning to alternative routes, such as the Suez Canal and the Arctic Passage. But these alternatives come with their own challenges, higher costs, longer journey times, and environmental risks. The Arctic Passage, for example, is fraught with icebergs and unpredictable weather, making it a risky proposition for large cargo ships. Insurance companies have also been forced to adapt. Premiums for vessels traveling through the Panama Canal have skyrocketed, reflecting the increased risk of delays and damage. Some insurers are even refusing to cover ships passing through the canal, leaving shipping companies to bear the full brunt of the financial risk. The race against time. Engineering solutions to save the canal. The repair efforts at the Panama Canal are a race against time and nature. Engineers are working around the clock to stabilize the canal's infrastructure using everything from advanced materials to robotic repair systems. But the challenges are immense. One of the most innovative solutions being deployed is the use of self-healing concrete. This revolutionary material contains bacteria that activate when cracks form, producing limestone to seal the damage. While still in its experimental stages, self-healing concrete could be a game-changer for the canal's long-term stability. Another promising technology is the use of AI-powered predictive analytics. By analyzing data from thousands of sensors, engineers can identify potential failure points before they become critical. This allows for targeted repairs, reducing the risk of catastrophic failures. The future of global trade, a world at the crossroads. The Panama Canal crisis is more than an engineering challenge. It's a harbinger of a new era in global trade. As climate change accelerates and infrastructure ages, the vulnerabilities of our interconnected world are becoming impossible to ignore. The crisis has forced governments, businesses, and engineers to rethink their approach to global trade. Alternative routes, such as the Arctic Passage and overland rail networks, are being explored as potential replacements for the canal. But these alternatives come with their own risks, from environmental concerns to geopolitical tensions. Perhaps the most profound impact of the crisis is the way it has reshaped our understanding of infrastructure. The Panama Canal was once seen as an unshakable pillar of global commerce. Now it serves as a stark reminder that even the most impressive feats of engineering are not immune to the forces of nature. As we stand at this crossroads, one thing is clear. The story of the Panama Canal crisis is far from over. It's a story of resilience, innovation, and the enduring power of human ingenuity. But it's also a cautionary tale, a reminder that in an increasingly interconnected world, the stakes have never been higher. The geopolitical chessboard, power shifts in a post-canal world. The Panama Canal crisis isn't just an economic or engineering problem, it's a geopolitical game changer. For over a century, the canal has been a strategic asset, controlled by the United States until its handover to Panama in 1999. Its importance to global trade has made it a focal point of international diplomacy and power struggles. With the canal's future in jeopardy, nations are scrambling to secure their interests. China, already a major player in global shipping, has been investing heavily in alternative routes, including the development of ports in Latin America and the expansion of its Belt and Road Initiative. The crisis could accelerate China's rise as a dominant force in global trade, challenging the traditional hegemony of the United States and Europe. Meanwhile, Russia sees an opportunity to promote the Northern Sea Route as a viable alternative to the Panama Canal. With Arctic ice melting due to climate change, this route is becoming increasingly accessible, offering a shorter path between Asia and Europe. However, the environmental risks and logistical challenges of navigating the Arctic remain significant barriers. The United States, for its part, is caught in a delicate balancing act. On one hand, it must support Panama in stabilizing the canal to protect its own economic interests. On the other hand, it must navigate the shifting geopolitical landscape where rivals are eager to exploit the crisis for their own gain. The environmental toll, a crisis within a crisis. The Panama Canal crisis isn't just a threat to global trade. It's also an environmental disaster in the making. The canal relies on fresh water from Gatun Lake to operate its locks, but prolonged droughts and climate change have strained this vital resource. As engineers work to repair the canal's infrastructure, they must also contend with the environmental impact of their efforts. 
the use of heavy machinery, dredging, and construction materials could further disrupt the delicate ecosystem surrounding the canal. Moreover, the crisis has highlighted the need for sustainable solutions in global trade. The shipping industry, already a major contributor to greenhouse gas emissions, is under increasing pressure to adopt greener practices. The Panama Canal crisis could serve as a catalyst for change, pushing the industry toward cleaner fuels, more efficient routes, and innovative technologies. The human cost, lives disrupted by a global crisis. Behind the headlines and economic statistics, the Panama Canal crisis is having a profound impact on the lives of ordinary people. From dock workers in Panama to factory workers in Asia, millions of livelihoods are at stake. In Panama, the canal is a major source of employment and revenue. A prolonged shutdown could devastate the country's economy, leading to job losses and social unrest. The government is under immense pressure to find solutions, but the scale of the crisis is overwhelming. The road ahead, innovation, collaboration, and resilience. The Panama Canal crisis is a stark reminder of the interconnectedness of our world. It underscores the need for innovation, collaboration, and resilience in the face of unprecedented challenges. Governments, businesses, and engineers must work together to find sustainable solutions that protect both the canal and the global economy. This will require bold investments in technology, infrastructure, and environmental conservation. At the same time, the crisis offers an opportunity to rethink our approach to global trade. By diversifying trade routes, investing in alternative transportation methods, and embracing sustainable practices, we can build a more resilient and equitable global economy. The story of the Panama Canal crisis is far from over. It's a story of human ingenuity, geopolitical intrigue, and the enduring power of nature. But it's also a story of hope, a reminder that even in the face of immense challenges, we have the capacity to adapt, innovate, and thrive. What do you think comes next? Share your thoughts below.